morning all my name is B Santosh Kumar assistant professor institute of aeronautical engineering my subject is image processing today i am discussing about basic morphological algorithms so what are the morphological algorithms i these are related to the image processing so the basic morphological algorithms are the principal application of morphological is extracting image components that are useful in the representation and the description of shape morphological algorithms are used for boundaries extraction skeletalization and uh, extracting the skeleton of an object and thinning so morphological algorithms what are the benefits what are the uses for the morphological algorithms okay suppose if you are taking any of the image we have to go for the erosion dilation or black is converting to the white or white is converting to the black or removing the noises so what it may be morphological algorithms are very very important role so when we are going for the boundary extraction the boundary of a set a set a is nothing but a, any of the morphological algorithm it is denoted by beta of a and it can be obtained by beta of a equal to a minus of a to b so where b is the structuring element already we know that a, b is a structuring element but a is a boundary of set a so which type of operator you are using that is a a and b is the structural element that is b so the relation is between the a to b and here beta of can be obtained by beta of a equal to a minus of a to b so b is a structural element and a is the operator so this operator here we are calling as a boundary extraction so the morphological algorithms are extracting images components that are useful in the representation and description of shape any of that shape any of that one we have to take suppose i am taking rectangular to the square so any of the shape the morphological algorithms are used for boundary extraction skeletonization that is extracting the skeleton of an object and thinning so the below figure shows an example of extracting the boundary of an object in a binary image so what are the morphological operations so the neighborhood operations carried out in spatial domain based on mathematical morphology set theoretical framework and originality of binary images extended for grayscale images so these are the morphological operations and what are the applications extract information about forms and structures shaping and filtering of forms and structures so when we are going for the morphological operations operation means uh, erosion dilation and uh, closing opening hit or miss transform whatever may be so how we are doing what are the algorithms we are preparing do for do this one suppose one image is there so i want to convert into the white of pixels into the black and black pixels are converting to the white how it is possible so these morphological operations the neighborhood operations carried out in a spatial domain based on mathematical morphology and set theoretical framework originality of binary images and extended for grayscale images these are the morphological operations so around the, these are the five types are there 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what are the applications extract information about forms and structures and second one is a shaping and filtering of forms and structures so what are the morphological processings so morphological processing are two steps are there it consists of essential of two steps first one a probe given to an object in x of m, m uh, x of m n with a structuring element s e and find how the sc fits with an object so sc is there out how it is fit which criteria is there and information about the fit is used to and extract information about the form of object or change pixel values and shape objects different size and shape of sc sc means structural element yields different kinds of information about the object shapes the regions in different ways so these morphological processes we are converting to the two steps that is x of m of m comma n which is structuring element and which is to the fit fit to the object 
So where we are going to the object, is it fit to the object or not? Okay. So foreground and background is there. So is it, the object is fit to the original image or not? The information about is used to the extract information about the form of object and the change pixel values and shape objects and different size, shape of is different kinds of information about the object, shape and regions in different ways. So these are very important. Some basic morphological algorithms. What are the major morphological algorithms? First one is a boundary extraction, region filling, extraction of connected components, convex hull, thinning, thick, thickness and skeletons and pruning. So these are the very, very important role. Each by each we will discuss one by one. First one is a boundary extraction. Second one, region filling. And the third one, extraction of connected components. Fourth, convex hull, thinning. Sixth one, thicknessing or thickening. Seventh, skeleton. Eighth, pruning. So, first one is a boundary extraction. First, erode means erosion A by B. Then, make set difference between A and the erosion. The thickness of contour depends on the size of the structuring element B. So, A and B we are taking. This A is an operator or operand. That is I am taking here, erode. And here, B is a structure element, SE. So, B of A equal to A minus of A to B. So, here A is the erode, means original image and B is the structure element. So, midpoint, here I am taking 3 by 3 size, 3 by 3 size with midpoint. That is a structure element. It is A to B and B of A. Set A, it is set A, means operator. Which operator is it? Suppose original image with erode and B is the structuring element and A erode by B, means Structure element is mapped with a road. Structure element is mapped with a road. And B, uh, C is the e A eroded by B. A eroded by B. Next, boundary given by the set difference between A and its erosion. Boundary and given by the set difference between A. Set difference given by A with erosion. So, here erosion output is there. So, here A eroded B means each point. Suppose here, I am taking suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here also, this 3 by 3, I am mapping here. How we are mapping? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. What is a midpoint is there? If, is there any midpoint here mapped? Then I am taking it is a 1. Is there any map? Then it is taking one. Next, I will keep here this one. Here, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This AC, we are keeping in place of this one. If this middle part means here, five is mapped, then I am taking one. Okay. So, how many are mapped? Then we will take it as a one. If not mapping means we are taking as a zero. So, it is a boundary extraction of the basic morphological algorithm. So, it is a A to B of erode. Then, make set difference between A and the erosion of B. The thickness of the contour depends on the size of the structuring element B. Beta of A equal to A to A erosion B. So, here figure A is the set A and the figure B is the structuring element and the figure B is the A eroded by B and uh, D is the lost figure. It is a boundary given by the difference between A and its erosion. So, it is a block diagram of or sample of boundary extraction. Suppose here I am taking figure A, figure B and figure C. So, it is a boundary extraction. We can observe here, what is the color of this image? Completely, is it white or not? Yes, it is completely white. But here, what I am taking here, black in border. Borders are the black. And what are the white means? Image or object. So, 
object is white and borders are in black so you can observe here it it is some uh, uh, for eyes of uh, some human being it is not it is looking like some typical it is looking like a typical so what we have to do in the figure c completely reverse order means this object is converting to the black border is in black and this border sir so what is the black color here object and borders are in white so in the figure a that is a original image there are no borders only white color is there after the figure b i applied black color to the borders okay so why i am applying the borders uh, black means what is the shape depends on the shape we have to find out yes it is a person they are it is a animal so what is the object we are identifying easily when we are applying the border so here i applied border with black and object is white in the figure c completely reverse order completely proportional in proportional so what is happening here means white is a object now in the figure b but in the what happened in the figure c black is a object and borders are in white in the previous image borders are in black so it is a boundary extraction and it is another one figure a and uh, figure b so figure a a simple binary image which is represented in white and result of b use with a structuring element okay so it is a figure a and a figure b with a structure element so it is nothing but a it is a 3 by 3 structuring element of all binary images in the chapter but binary ones are shown in white and the zeros are in black so the elements of the structuring element which are ones all are treated as white because of the size of the structuring element used so the boundary figure is one pixel thick so when one is white and two uh, zero is a black why because here it is a binary number okay so this binary one is white and zero is a black so it is understood when taking as a structure element it is completely 3 by 3 structuring element of ones and the binary images are, are the binary ones are shown as a white and uh, zeros are in the black and the elements of the structure element which are ones also treated as white because of the size of the structuring element used here <coughs> object white here object black borders white here borders black okay that is the about the erosion or or a simple binary image with a representation of white result with the structuring element okay it is about the boundary extraction and uh, hole or region filling so the hole or region filling is nothing but a this algorithm is based on a set of dilations the completions and the intersections p is the point inside the boundary with the value of 1 xk equal to xk minus 1 the conjunction with the complement a is that is the process of step with xk equal to xk xk minus 1 xk equal to xk minus 1 so the result of the given union a and xk so is the set of contained field set of boundary the algorithms of dilations here i am taking about the dilation p is the point inside the boundary with value 1 xk equal to xk minus 1 conjunction of the complement of a so here a is a dilation and xk is the segment or conjunction complement at the process step and the is a conjunction complemented the result that we have given in union of a and xk is the set contains a filled set of boundaries okay set of boundary so 
here the figure a is the binary image in the form of 1 and 0 and figure b is the object boundary extracted using the previous equations and 3 by 3 square structuring element so any of this one i am taking as the 3 by 3 matrix 3 by 3 structuring element so in the figure a that is a binary image in the form of binary image in the form of 1 or zeros only and uh, figure b is the object object boundary extracted using the previous equation and 3 by 3 square structuring element here here what is happened means object and borders are there that means foreground and background is there so here foreground background both are black color but only what are the borders are there and we are taking as a white so it is a some different technique we are applied here the size of the structuring element is 3 by 3 pixel the resulted boundary is on 1 pixel thick then using 5 by 5 structuring element will produce a boundary between 2 and 3 pixels thick as shown in the next figure then we have to see what is happening now so binary image with white and black so what has happened here means uh, object is in the form of white color and background is a black in color so it is converting to the only borders are white and the remaining all are uh, black it is my application so here change it to the 5 by 5 structuring element and the 3 by 3 pixel uh, structuring element so thinning the thinning means reducing binary objects or shapes in an image to strokes that are a single pixel wide the thinning of a set a by structuring element b is defined as a to b equal to a minus of a into b and a parallel to the a to b of complement we only match the pattern shape with the structuring elements no background operations are required in the hit or miss transform but here b is the sequence of structuring element b equal to b dash b2 b3 so on bn but here bi is the rotation of bi plus 1 the thinning equation can be written as a to b of a to b a square so on a n 1 2 3 so on n so thinning means to reducing the binary objects in the shapes of an image and the strokes that are a single pixel wide the thinning of a set a thinning a and structure element b so b equal to b1 b2 b3 so on b n structuring element and b is the rotation of thinning equation can be written so the entire process is repeated until no further changes occur the below figure shows an example of thinning the fingerprint uh, ridges so that each is one pixel thick so first one is a original image fingerprint b is the image thinned ones and c is the image thinned twice and d is the image thinned until stability or no changes occur so this entire process there is changes occur yes we have to changes in occur then what we have to do we are conducting the four types that example of thinning fingerprint writes at the each one pixel of the thick original fingerprint image image thinned ones image thinned twice okay it is once only but it is a twice we are applied here and here thinned has stability or no change occur no change or stability or stability is there so another one is a skeletonization or skeleton extraction so it is the another way to reduce binary objects to thin strokes that retain the important structural information about the shapes of the original object the skeleton of a can be expressed in types of erosion and opening as a follows okay so when we are going for the erosion it is one type of basic morphological algorithm but skeletal extraction is using for the binary object it is for the binary object and then strokes the retain the important structure element information about the shapes of the original objects the skeleton of a 
here a equal to skill term and b is the structural element so s of a equal to sk of a here k equal to 0 sk of a equal to a to kb minus a to kb or b where b is the structural element and a into kb is the indicates the k successive erosions of a so here i am taking skill term or number of erosions So, the skeleton extraction or skeletonization to reduce the binary objects to thin strokes that retain the important structural information about the shapes of the original objects and the skeleton of A can be expressed in terms of erosions and opening of follows. So, when you are taking it is an equation for skeletonization here the figure below illustrates an example of extracting a skeleton of an object in a binary image. So, figure A and it is a figure B. Figure A is a bone image. Here I am taking as a bone. Here, skeleton extracted from. So, here it is the object. It is a background. But here, background I am not changing. Background, no change. But what is change here means when I am going for the object, object of the element, we are taking as an object of the element we are taking. So, it is the example of extracting a skeleton of an object in a binary image. So, when I am taking the bone image, it is the skeleton extraction. Means, what is the shape? Here I am taking, what is the shape? It is like this inside how it is there that is like this okay so grayscale morphology the basic morphological operations of dilation erosion opening and closing can be also be applied to gray images okay so grayscale so this erosion can be also in a gray images. So, any of the four, these are the morphological algorithms of binary erosion, dilation, opening and closing. But grayscale dilation, the grayscale dilation of a grayscale image F by a structuring element B. So, when I am taking as a F equal to grayscale and B equal to structuring element. So, F to B, X comma Y equal to maximum of F of X minus X dash, Y minus Y dash plus B of X dash into Y dash of tends to DB. Here, DB is the domain of the structure element. Okay. Domain structure element. It is a process of operating in a semi of spatial convolution. So, any of the Grayscale morphology, the basic morphological operations of erosion, dilation, opening and closing can be applied to the gray images. But the grayscale dilations of the images are image F and a structural element is B. And this operates in the same way as a spatial convolution. But here DB is nothing but a domain of the structural element B. So here the figure below shows the result of dilation a gray image using 3 by 3 square structuring element, we can see that grayscale dilation produces the following bright and slightly blurred images and small and dark detail have been reduced. Here figure A is the original gray image and figure B is the dilated image. So what is the difference here? Here it is the some blood, somewhat blood image is there. Here, what is happening means dilated image. So, we what end may be here the small small difference is there from the original to output. What is happening? Small blurring is there. We are removed with the 
dilation process. But what are the grayscale dilation are means? Brightness and the slightly blurred image, small, dark and the details have been reduced. So, grayscale erosion. The grayscale erosion of a grayscale image, F by a structuring element B is defined as F of B tends to X comma Y equal to minimum of F of X plus X dash, Y plus Y dash, minus B of X dash, Y dash, so on. Here, the erotic gray image using a 3 by 3 structural element. That is a grayscale erosion. Here, <coughs> figure A and figure B, it is the original gray image. Figure A is the original gray image and B is the eroded image. Eroded image, it is the original image. We can see that grayscale erosion produces the following that is the dark image, small bright details will be reduced. Bright and slightly blurred image, small and dark details. Here also, dark image and small bright details will be reduced. So, grayscale opening and closing. The opening and closing of a grayscale images have the same form as a binary image opening F to B and the closing is F into B equal to F plus B. The figure below shows the result of opening a gray image. So it is a original A of the gray image and it is an opened image. It is the opened image. So the gray with opened image. What is the difference means? Slightly. So what are the problems are there? If there is anything dark image or small bright details are reduced, then for these applications, we are using grayscale opening and closing. So we are decreasing the size of the small bright detail with no appreciable effect on the darker gray levels. The figure below shows the result of closing a gray image. So, it is a virgin image and it is a closed image. It is a virgin image. So, the decreased size of the small dark detail which are relatively little effect of the brighter features. When we are reducing the, decreasing the small dark detail, then it is relatively effect of the bright features. So, we are decreasing the size of the small bright detail with no applicable effect on the darker gray levels and grayscale morphological applications. What are the morphological smoothing? Smoothing is obtained by performing a morphological opening followed by a closing as shown in the below figure. So, grayscale morphological applications in this first we are going for the smoothing. Okay, morphological smoothing. Smoothing is obtained by performing a morphological opening followed by a closing as shown in the below figure. Okay, so it is the gray image. Figure B is the smoothed image. So, the original gray image and morphological smooth image. Smooth means the surrounding here some slightly noises, some skin, it is showing as some blurring of the skin like this. But here, the skin is uh, plain, so it is uh, same levels are there. When I, we are observing the eye also, here somewhat some disturbances are there, some dot, dot, dots are there in the eyes. Here we are cleared all those things. Why? Because we are smoothed, smoothed of the skin. Here, the smooth is not good. All the levels are not good. Why? Because it is showing as a, some skin up and downs. But here, all the levels are same. Why? Because here I'm smoothing is applied. Which type of smoothing is morphological smoothing? That is a binary image or with grayscale. Grayscale means in the form of ones and zeros with opening and closing. Another morphological gradient is there. It is produced from subtracting an eroded image from its dilated version. 
and it is defined as g equal to f plus b minus f into b. The resulted image has edge enhancement characteristics thus morphological gradient can be used for edge detection as shown in the below figure. So here it is the gray image. Here it is a gradient. So what is the difference means here background background is a black. So here background is black and these black is converted to the white border. So these are in the colors are black. Here I am converting to the white. So all that here it is black is there but here border white is there. So all the changes are there. Yes, the, the, there are so many changes are there including foreground, background and uh, borders and uh, objects and uh, images and uh, letters what are that means. So the original image with the comparing with the output morphologically is changed. It is a subtracting of an eroded image for the dilated version of the image. And the resultant image has edge enhanced characteristics. Thus morphological gradient can be used as edge detection. And uh, the extraction of connected components. This algorithm extracts a connected component by selecting a point by a binary object A. Works similar to the region filling, but this time we use in this conjunction of object A instead of its complement. Let A be the set containing one or more CCs and the form of array X0 of the size and array A whose elements all are all zeros, the background values except at each location known the corresponding to a point each is CC in each set A. So when I am going for the binary or white or black, so these algorithms are extracts connected to the comrades by selecting a point on a binary object and it works similar to region filling but this time we use in the conjunction the object A instead of its complement and let A be the containing of one or more CCs. When I am taking the X0 and it is we are taking as a segment C and the elements of all are zeros, including the background values. But except at each location knows the corresponding point at each CC and which said to be 1. And convex hull. A is said to be convex if a straight line segment joining any two points in A. So any of the line we are taking. So this A lies entirely within A. a. So if I am taking A operand and if you are taking the B or anything that is a SC segment. So A is to be a convex if a straight line segment joining any two points and uh, a convex hull it is a algorithm. Convex hull is a morphology algorithm and it is set to S in the smallest convex set containing S and the convex deficiency is the set to difference H minus S. Both the convex hull and the convex defici uh, deficiency are useful for object description. And we represent a simple morphological algorithm for obtaining the convex hull. C of A convex hull is equal to set A and let B A equal to I, B I and I equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Okay, it is a S up to a C segment. <coughs> so what is C here? Structural element. So here the procedure con consists of implementing the equation xk of i equal to xk minus 1 into b i tends to a. Here i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and k equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Another equation is a skeleton equation. The notation of skeleton s of a here skeleton equation s of a and set a or skeleton value a and the inuity defined we deduce from this figure if z is a point of s of a and d of z is the largest disk central z of containing a one cannot find a larger disk that fulfills these terms 
and this disc is called maximum disc and this disc d of z touches the border of a with two or more different places so here s of a equal to k equal to 0 to k s k of a here scale term So the skeleton is of a here is of a. So what is the k here means we are taking as a constant skeleton constant k and here the disc is called the maximum disc and d of z touches the boundary of a at two or more different places. So these are the references. So the basic morphological algorithms are nothing but a morphological in extracting image components that are useful in the representation and the description of the shape. And the morphological algorithms are used in boundaries extraction, skeletonization. So boundary extraction, skeletonization we will discuss. And uh, the main thing is a boundary extraction. And uh, the boundary of uh, set A is denoted by beta of E denoted by B eta of E equal to A minus of A to B. And uh, B is a structuring element, SC, structuring element. And uh, the figure below shows the example of structuring element boundary of an object in a binary. So what are the morphological operations? Neighborhood operation carried out in a spatial domain based on mathematical morphology, set theoretical framework and originally for binary images and uh, extended for grayscale images. And what are the applications? Extract information about forms and structures and uh, shaping and uh, filtering of forms and structures. These are the morphological operations. And uh, morphological processing. It is consists of two steps. Prove a given object is in X of M, M with a structuring element C and uh, it will be fit on the object and the extract information about the form of OR and change the pixel value and the shape of the object. So shape and pixel values can be changed. So the size and the shape okay, of each different kinds of information about the object, the shapes, the regions in different ways. The major basic morphological algorithms are boundary extraction, region filling, extraction of connected components, convex hull, thinning, thick, uh, thicknessing, skeleton, and proning. So, boundary extraction. So, A erode B by mixing a set of different between A and the erosion of B. And uh, structural element is SE. So, it is a boundary extraction. The black uh, content are changed to the white and the white content is changed to the black. So background of white is changed to the uh, object. White is changed to the object black and the background white is uh, black is as usual. Here I am changing the only object. So I am concentrating about the object with the boundaries. Boundaries means borders are there like this. It is another example of simple binary image of the boundary extraction. It is the input is a 3 by 3 structuring element and the output is a 5 by 5 with the structuring element with the binary values of 1s and zeros. And the whole uh, region filling, this algorithm is based on a set of dilations, compl uh, complementation and it intersections. P is the point inside the boundary with the value of 1 and xk equal to xk minus 1b conjunction with complementing of A. So xk equal to xk minus 1. Here xk is the result of the union of x containing the value and here the binary image figure a and the figure b is the object to boundary extraction using the previous equation and 3 by 3 square structuring element here because of the size of the structuring element in 3 by 3 pixel the resulted boundary is 1 pixel thick and 5 by 5 structuring element will produce a boundary between 2 and 3 pixels thick as shown in the figure and uh, thinning is nothing but a thinning means to reducing the binary objects. Thinning means reduce binary objects.
of the stroke that are single pixel by the thinning of a set A by structuring element B. So the structuring element is equal to B and the thinning of value A. So here I am taking A tends to B. So the entire process is repeated until no further changes occur. The below figure shows an example of thinning the fingerprint reads of that each one of the pixel thick figure A, B, C, D. A is a original fingerprint and B is the image with thinned ones. Figure C is the twice of the thinned, uh, thinned one and uh, figure D is the no change or stability of the image. So, skeletonization or skeletal extraction is another way to reduce the binary objects to thin strokes that retain the important structural information about the shapes of the original objects. The skeleton of A, A equal to skeleton and the structural element is SC and the erosion of the value S of A equal to SK of A and B is the structural element and A2 came to be indicates the K successive erosions of A. Here the figure below illustrates an example of extracting a skeleton of an object in a binary image. Here A is the bone image and B is the skeleton extracted form. Skeleton extracted from figure A. Okay. How it is happened means here. Grayscale morphology. The basic morphological operations of dilation, erosion, opening and closing can also be applied to gray images and grayscale dilation. The grayscale dilation of a grayscale image F by structuring element B is defined as F to B of X comma Y and the maximum of F of X comma Y equal to F of X minus X dash comma Y minus Y dash plus B of X dash Y dash so on. Here DB is the domain of the structuring element. The figure below shows the result of dilating a gray image using 3 by 3 square structuring element. We can see that grayscale dilation produces the following bright and slightly blurred image, small dark detail have been reduced and the original gray image with the dilated images. Okay, And uh, grayscale erosion, the grayscale erosion of a grayscale image F <coughs> by a structured element B. Here the grayscale image is F and the structural element is B. So here F tends to B of X comma Y is the minimum value of F of X plus X dash comma Y plus Y dash minus B of X dash comma Y dash. The next is the eroding gray image using 3 by 3 structuring element. So it is one example of original gray image with eroded image. We can see that uh, first one is a dark image and second one is a small bright detail is reduced. So grayscale opening and uh, closing. The opening and closing of a grayscale image have the same form of as the binary and uh, closing is a F into B. So the figure for shows the result of opening and grayscale. So figure is the original gray image and uh, B is the opened image. And here it is a original and closed image. Here it is opened and here it is a closed image. So it is a grayscale morphological applications. It is a morphological smoothing technique. It is a gradient technique. It is nothing but an object and a background, foreground are changed with black and white. And the extraction is connected to the components. It is a convex hull application and it is a skeleton. Okay, these are the references. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.